Ah. Well, good morning, and welcome to Sundays with Schiffstifer. It's to, breakfast at Wimbledon. It's breakfast at Wimbledon, which is wonderful, and we're, we're thrilled. Um, I was happy to see um, Serena Williams win the women's. I mean, with the, uh, anybody who can get away with hair like that, you know, you know me and my hair issues. I mean, they're nothing on Serena, so... Right now we have a rain delay, as you may be able to see. Yesterday we had gotten everything together and we had our whole thing um, recorded, but then our uh, camera gave out because it got too full of stuff, so we have to now re-record. Re but actually that's great because that does give us the opportunity to, to, give do you it over. to give you the <laughs> oven update. And the oven update is that we, believe it or not, after all these weeks we haven't had the oven replaced. We, we had the one. old oven. The <laughs> update is we've eaten Caribbean, we've eaten Mexican, we've mm. had Middle Eastern last night. Yeah, uh, and we have pictures of all that. Our favorite part of one of the new Mexican restaurants in town. We'll just show it to them. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, 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 can't, <laughs> I can't tell you why. What Maybe that is it's all like about. Thanksgiving and it's the children's table. We don't I'm know. I'm not sure. Nobody was but eating it. But the food was excellent. Oh my gosh, Very it was good. great. Okay. And 4th of July, we got invited to a lot of places, but we didn't go because we had to stay home because I was studying. Uh, let me ask you, uh, Flight 222, what time do you expect <laughs> it in their air traffic control? Would you tell the people at home why you're, why you're like, wired to Tucson? Because I am recording microbiology things for myself so that I can listen to myself in the car. Oh, uh, NASA control, we got, uh, we got a big truck and convoy coming through the night. <laughs> this, was the, this was the secret of my... Big Ben, here comes the rubber duck. We're about to go a hunting bear. <laughs> Thank you. I'm busy. You'll notice we are a little bit more dressed up than normal, and I'll tell you why. It's because we're going to go lecture at Mass at 4 o'clock, and it's now, you know, 3-ish. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Um, 3.07. Oh, 3.07. Oh, for those of you keeping score. Now, um, on the line of frequently asked questions, a lot of people ask us, at least in my imagination, a lot of people ask us, who does Pikachu like better? You, Siobhan, or Chris? Well, let's take a look at Chris's most recent interaction. Every time Chris comes back from a swim, um, Pikachu loves him up. <laughs> Pikachu thinks she's a dog. And now, let's take a look at mine. I actually needed <laughs> hydrogen peroxide to treat this. Okay, should we, on a monthly basis, give her a flea bomb? Uh, so she put this little stuff on her back. It's no big deal. No big I don't deal know why she has such a fit. She freaks out. She freaks out. Oh, I'll freak out. <laughs> okay, so every time you say the word freak out, for any oh, reason, for any reason, in this household, Chris goes into Le Chic. Says Freak. Or Chic, La Freak. <clears throat> Anyway, the song was La Freak by Sheik. Everybody has their own 19, little uh, ticks, shall mm -hmm. we say. So he does the freak out thing. You could say freak out about anything. <laughs> it, you could be at a funeral and say, oh, I'm really going to freak out about this. You know? Oh, I'll freak out. Anyway. And then he, he tries to pretend that he's not doing it. So <laughs> he sort of did it quietly there. Normally he does it loudly, but he does it a little quiet, quietly like, Oh, freak out. <laughs> but he usually does the guitar. Is that, is that your. De -de 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 is that really. Is that really it? Well, that's how you do it, isn't it? <laughs> no? No. Okay, this happened in Beaver, Pennsylvania, and this was in the right Citizen's there. Voice. <laughs> this was in the Citizen's Voice this week. Sheriff's deputies say a Western Pennsylvania County jail inmate faked the seizures that prompted jail officials to take him to a hospital where he tried to hail a taxi to escape. <laughs> I love that. The Beaver County Times uh, Friday said that the sheriff's deputies have now charged 23-year-old Holden Woolley with escape and other crimes stemming from incidents happening uh, Saturday night at the hospital. The deputies say Woolley told another... Belief. He told another patient uh, that he faked the seizures and he was going to skip. 
<laughs> that's that's prison lingo for I'm leaving without permission. While at the hospital. For those of you who aren't familiar with the ins and outs of prison life. So then he goes outside of the hospital and starts to flag down a cab. Now the cab driver says, hmm, man standing outside of the hospital in an orange and white jumpsuit. He was still in his prison garb. It says Beaver County on the back. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to stop, which was pretty smart. I, mm -hmm. want, I want to tell you about the the t-shirt the situation. <laughs> My t-shirt drawer is so full <laughs> That basically, I don't know if you're like this at home, but, but I've got about 150 t-shirts and I wear the top layer. I wear the top 10, they get washed and they get replaced. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I've got t-shirts in my drawer underneath all that, but I'll give you an example. We dug down the other day and I found this. It's from the SMH Law, uh, the bar review course I took. Mm -hmm. Now, I graduated in 1995. So this t-shirt is, uh, what's 2012, mm -hmm. says so this uh, 27 years old, 17 years old, how old is it? Right, I don't know. I didn't know there would be math involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's funny. That's funny when you say it. <laughs> 95 to 2005 would be 10, okay. right? Right. Uh, Plus. So it would be... Okay. Well, whatever. We're going to get back to 17. I 17. Yeah. So this is this this t-shirt is 17 years old. And he loves it. And of course I love it. You know why he loves it? Because it's poly cotton. He loves the I poly love cotton. I love cotton blend. Yeah. Just straight cotton just gets like, you know, it's like you're wearing a tent tarp after a while. Entertainment update. Yes. That would be great. And, and here's the, the thing that I want to talk about is Entertainment Weekly had an article on 50 best movies you've never seen. Oh, and, and I love this. That's funny. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Fifty that you've never seen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm. I, I can talk about obscure movies like nobody's business. Like nobody's business. Did I really say that? You, what, what am I? You, my my you, grandfather. You have become a dork. I'm sorry. That become. What, what did I start out as? You were really cool. Well, I was really cool at one point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really cool. Okay, so take <laughs> cut that out for God's sake. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I, I stand on the door, okay? <laughs> They've got really good ones highlighted in the article, like Memories of Murder from Korea, Korea the Magdalene Sisters. You saw that one. Mm. That's about the uh, girls in the Irish asylum, the Irish Catholic asylum. Let me just tell you. Great movie. That was one of the worst movies I have ever seen, just from a total <clears throat> depression point of view. And I'm pointing this out to, to, to say that, that I've got a good eye for talent. Because I thought Danny Boyle was good. I thought Jennifer uh, Lawrence was good. But another one I picked out. And he married me so that we could do the show together. Right. But here's the other one. There's a movie called Charles Bronson, which is this independent movie about the most violent inmate in Britain's history. Charles Bronson? Charles Bronson. He called himself Charles Bronson, but he was this insane guy. I mean, just insane. And the performance by the lead actor in this, I was so blown away. I sat there going, this guy, somebody needs to make this guy a star because he is incredible. Mm -hmm. This guy is just incredible. And the cool thing was, mm -hmm. the other person watching that movie was Christopher Nolan. Because mm. he put Tom Hardy in Inception, mm. and he is now going to be... Bane in Dark Knight Rises. He's going to be the villain in the wow. in the final Batman movie. The guy that was in Charles Bronson. Yes. Wow. And and I think that's so cool that 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 I can watch a movie and go, wow, this guy's great. They ought to do something with him. And the next thing you know, he's the main villain in like what's going to be the biggest movie of all time. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I like that. Yeah. See, if you're out there watching, I should be a casting director. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's my resume right there. Well, thank you very much for stopping in. You've sort of uh, seen various stages of our lives this weekend. We're very grateful that you were here, and we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next week on Sundays with Chef Chip. Sure. You've got a copy on me, Big Ben. Come on. Oh, yeah. did you have that pissed off back up the whole time? Oh, that's By golly, it's clean. <laughs> All right, so. Down. Come on. Yeah, it's a big 10 four there, Big Ben. Yeah, we definitely got the front door, good buddy. Mercy sakes alive, looks like we've got us a convoy.